What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Empire Watch Club. Today, Dizzy's finally back. Yeah, I'm back. So we're gonna introduce some fun watches that we have found recently. These are some watches that I feel like is very, very um, cool as like an everyday watch. Um, it's very useful. So today we're gonna introduce you guys some very relevant watches that are very fun, very fashionable, and that, you know, just like Dizzy said, she can wear them daily and it matches everything. So let's get into the first- Oh wait, 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 wait. Before you get into the first watch, um, because it's locked down, yes. we have been feeling really generous because we want to make people happy and um, we're going to give away this watch. So stay tuned and see what you have to do to get it. Okay, exactly. go back to- yeah. Yes. yes. Dizzy, why don't you take it away with what you got on right now? So the watch I am wearing today is the Apple Watch in a 44 and I even have the little uh, Daytona dial. Ooh, <laughs> let me see, let me see. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah, well, it, looks yeah. Like, it looks like this actually, but it's like the reverse. This is the panda, it's like the black panda. It's kind of cool. Sunny was laughing at me at the <laughs> beginning. So I got this for my birthday. My girlfriends gifted it to me. Super lucky. Um, thank you guys. Love you so much. And um, yeah, this case is a golden concept case. I saw this on IG. It kind of just popped up as an advertisement. You know how IG always does yeah. that? Yeah, and I saw it one day and I sent it to Sunny and I was just like, hey, check this out. It's kind of dope. Because I really like to swim, you know, so I actually thought that that was like a big thing in choosing a case for me. So I messaged them and um, I asked if this is waterproof and um, they replied me and was like, yeah, you can go underwater with it. And I was just like, damn, salt. So, you know, I told Sunny, I was just like, I think we should get some of this. And uh, when I told Sunny about the Apple Watch, he kept on laughing at me because he was just like, no, I'm not gonna get an Apple Watch because he's like, I probably won't wear any other watches. I mean, it's really, really handy. After I used this, I was just kind of like, I love this watch because I can literally go for a run, not now, but like, I mean, normally on like a, you know, when it's not lockdown basis, like you can go out and you can function without your phone. And it's really convenient because when you're out, especially when I have Katia in one arm, my bag in the other one, you know, I want to call people, I can directly do it on my watch. I've never really liked the idea of having a smartwatch uh, because I've always liked vintage star watches. But I guess after Dizzy's been wearing it so much and I've seen how convenient it is and I, you know, it won me over. So I did take a look at Golden Concepts. I went on their IG and I realized a couple things. Okay, first, it's not that cheap. No, well, it's the, really not. Really. Yeah, so the Apple Watch <laughs> already isn't very cheap. I went on their website. I realized that they're very, very classy. Like the way they had their whole online like website layout, the way they advertised, the way they promoted it, it's like a very high class upscale watch case, which was weird to me at first because it's I saw the price tag and it's like seven, eight hundred, a thousand US dollars for a watch case. And obviously we did get a 10% discount because if you sign up, you get 10% off. So we did get a little bit of a discount on this, but I think that it's very, very cool because when we got it, um, the box is with Dizzy. And I have to admit, you know, there, okay. First of all, I have to make a disclaimer. We do not support replica watches. We do not wear fake watches, but I think a tribute watch or a watch that makes you feel like you're wearing something else, it could be fun. They're not pretending like they're anyone else, but it makes you feel like it's a paddock. You know, I kind of feel like it looks like a paddock. This is really big, but I really like big watches. So for me, it works well. And um, I like the bulky feeling, like how it's like big and it's kind of like got a case around this as well. You can actually just use the original Apple Watch and you put in the strap. But I think that this one, which is cool, it's, it's actually like a case and you feel like it's protected and it's big and I think yeah. it's very fashionable. It's it like is. cool. I think that the price justifies itself because I realized that it's plated gold. So it's not just, you know, some flimsy metal bracelet. It's actually, you know, they, they put a lot of design and thought into this. This is an integrated bracelet and the clasp, it's exactly like the PP clasp. It's it's kind of cool. And you know, it's it's gold plated. 
So yeah, there, there is some gold in this, so that's why the price is so hefty. But I think that is very nice. And when we got the box, I have to say, you know, they they did a good job with it. You know, like let yeah, me show a nice you guys. Box. So it's a nice brown box with nice wood, gold lettering, you know, a nice gold logo. You know, they put a lot of time and design into this. And then when you open it up, you know, it's nice suede in here and you know, they got a nice little pillow. If you open it up, it's kind of like those Rolex boxes. They even give you a tool. Uh, it's, and it's, it's magnetized. That's cool. They give you a little tool here. It's signed by the CEO. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your Apple Watch case. Puya? <laughs> I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Forgive me. I am going to say the CEO of Golden Concepts name is Puya Shamsa Sadati. That's a cool name. I feel like this makes you feel like it's it's worth the money it's not very cheap but you get a nice packaging you get a nice box and you get gold plated watch cases uh i do know that they have other styles they have like rubber straps leather straps um they have stuff with like ceramic cases mm -hmm. as well you know they, they have a bunch of selections but dizzy and i would really like gold no so but we, i mean like these. look at this if you look closely there's like a really really nice matte finish yeah. and um it's just very nice um this is the 44 yeah, but so um this is the this sunny is the 40. actually really likes the i like the 40 so 40. i put my it's kind of cool i got so. like my little daytona dial in here as well for me the golden concept i'm just going to give it a nickname it's called the apple tech apple watch with paddock apple tech apple tech get it the rose gold 40 looks really nice yeah it does it's really nice and i like the gold too yeah, the nice. yellow gold, this. I think they have like stainless steel or white gold. They do, they do. They have stainless. Right? I think the stainless, stainless is really nice too. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, there's a lot of choice, so you can go on and have a look. It's not super cheap, but I mean, you know what? You want to look really good with your Apple Watch. I think that's the most important thing. <laughs> if you're going to spend $500 on an Apple Watch and another $800, $900 on a case, you know, it, it might as well be really nice looking and fashionable. They even have like a little, you see that little logo? Like the Golden Concept logo is really cool. Yeah. Mr. Puya, you guys did a good job. I really like this watch. If you guys have an Apple Watch, I really strongly suggest you guys go take a look at the Golden Concept cases. They are really, really something. And next. This is a Sanmark case and it goes with the Casio G-Shock. The Casio G-Shock GA2100, uh, a lot of people reference these as the Cassie Oak because it looks like a royal oak, kind of like an offshore or, or a diver or something with a face and then the octagonal shapes. And there's a brand in Taiwan called Sam Mark and they modify the Cassie Oaks to make it look like an Audemars. It actually looks really, really cool. Right? Yeah. I mean, this looks really cool. That yeah. looks... This like, looks like legit. Yeah. I mean, they're not a really a replica. They're still a Casio. It's just, it has like a really AP looking case. And they have a little, you know, Sam Mark thing in the back. Dude, that, that looks, that looks pretty dope. I think this dope. looks pretty good on me. Yeah, that looks yeah. dope. This is like a tiny bit thicker, but it's not that bad. Obviously the golden concept is heavier. This is probably made from much cheaper materials. I think that, you know, for the price point, it's not bad. It does feel a little bit flimsy, but you know what? For 8,000 NTD, you're getting something fun, and it, it's it's kind of a cool, nice toy watch, and it looks like AP, man. You know, this, like... Yeah, this looks good. I know, like, right? I mean... Like, I, I'm pretty impressed. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys what the Sammar case looks like. Um, they have their own logo right here. It is kind of like a plastic rubber box. It's a cute um, little case. You know, it's a cute little case. It's a little cardboard in here. It's very standard. I think they do a pretty good job for the price. I think that if you guys like Casios and if you like modifying them, this is definitely a good idea. I really highly recommend something like this. And they modified the dial. So all the indices before was plastic and then now they put some, you know, kind of like this. That's metal. why it looks so good. Yeah, they it put matches metal indices the outside. In here. Yeah, yeah, so it does look really, really cool. And that's a nice touch. So if you guys are into Cassie Oaks and if you want to modify them, go find Sam Marks. Now all their links are below. So we've introduced the Apple Paddock watches and the Cassie Oak AP watches. Now uh, we have something that's very, very different. 
It's for the vintage folks out mm -hmm. there. Remember, I was really into vintage for a very long time, but not anymore. But yeah, very just, long time. Yeah. So, <laughs> this is really, really cool. These are WMT watches. They're made in Hong Kong, and they are tributes to vintage Rolex watches. And these are very, very well made. The price points for WMT watches sit right in between these two. They're about 300 to like maybe five or 600 US dollars. They make it exactly like a vintage watch. Yeah, that looks like a GMT. Right? Yeah, that's the tribute to the original GMT. Yeah, it's got an Arabic, yeah, Arabic bezel to it. Bezel and the, uh, the blue and red is the Pepsi. Is this your strap? Yes, that is my strap. They do have their own straps. All right, so you know what? A little secret, just you know, off the record, because you guys don't see Sunny normally um, unless he's off the gram. But Sunny, in the middle of the night, not anymore because Kati is always sleeping. But when when Katia wasn't born yet, Sunny would be there until like 5 a.m. in his little room and he would be changing these little watch straps <laughs> until like 5 a.m. That's yeah. what he would be doing. And I would kind of sleep and then in the middle I'd be like waking up because like the sun's almost up and I'm just like, what the hell is Sunny? And he's just like <laughs> still there playing with his watches. Like he just looks at it like in his little room. He's like, and you know, and I'm just kind of like, dude, is this what guys do, man? Like, hey, yeah. And for so, all you watch viewers out there and watch connoisseurs and watch collectors, you know what she's talking about. We, we, we do this stuff, babe. We, this is this is what gives us happiness. I prefer besides, not, you know, the love of the wifey, of course. I prefer not to sleep, and <laughs> you know, it's like no sleep is okay, but you know, gotta change my watch strap. So yeah, yeah. here it is. <laughs> yeah, before I get into that, so they come with an interesting cardboard box. I like their take on it. It's not a very expensive package. It's got that like vintage Yeah, feel. it's got a vintage feel. It comes with a little warranty card, you know, that's that's a nice touch. They do give you little tools, just like the little concept, and little spring bars. This tribute to the GMT came with a Jubilee bracelet, and that is very, very nice. But uh, yeah, I think, I think what's cool about this is that it just looks so vintage, you know? And then- I don't think these, these fit me very well. Yeah, I don't I know I think it would be style. nice with the Jubilee watch strap. Maybe. So I don't normally wear a strappy, like, vintage watch. I don't feel like it suits me or anything. Yeah, to be honest with you- I think that you, if uh, I had the Jubilee strap, I'd probably Yeah, I think so too. Better. I think it would definitely look a little more yeah, fashionable yeah, yeah, yeah. and a little bit more bling. Um, this is very, um, I think it fits you more. Yeah, I, I like this. And then I actually got this. Yes, it is a military watch. This is a tribute to the Flying Tigers. Um, and since we have a Tigris right here, uh, you should try this on. This is a very cool military watch. Have you tried military watches on before? No. I like this because it doesn't have a bezel insert. And it's, it's very, very cool. It's very, very military. And I, I like what WMT has done, you know? they. They have their own logo in it, and it's a tribute to Rolex, vintage Rolex. This looks a little better. You know, yeah. I think that's the cool thing about different watch straps. Uh, you can put your own tastes and preferences into it, and you can just, you know, buy a couple watch straps. Watch straps are not super expensive. Watch straps range anywhere from like $10 to like, you know, $200 or maybe even $300 for the most expensive, genuine leather ones. But, um... Where'd you get your watch strap? Oh. That's a good question. So I get my watch straps from Boulang & Sons. Uh, they are in Amsterdam. Oh, and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bernard is my good friend and you know, he's, he makes amazing watch straps. And also our good friend in Hong Kong, Amin. Oh. Yeah, Amin has some really cool watch straps. So this watch strap is made by Amin. Amin Goa. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hold we're gonna, on, give, we're gonna give him a little shout out in here. Here's our good friend. Ming. Mingo. Yeah, he even signed it for us. So his watch was on the cover. So that is pretty rad. Uh, I don't know if he sold it yet. He probably did. But just wanted to give a shout out to him. I mean, I hope you see this. They're uh, Sunny's watch buddies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so for all of you guys who like vintage Rolex and you don't want to spend huge money and you, you know, just want to have something lying around that works well and that looks like a vintage Rolex, but it's not a replica. I really strongly suggest you guys take a look at WMT experimental unit watches. 
They are really, really cool. Feel vintage, and you know what? If you like your own straps, just play around with it. So this is what we wanted to introduce to you guys today uh, in this crazy, crazy, hyped up, overpriced market. We're gonna end this vlog by choosing what we like and just give a couple of reasons and opinions and what we think. I mean, I would definitely choose the Apple Watch with the Golden Concept case because, um, I mean, I just use it normally on an everyday basis. Um, the Apple Watch is really convenient. As I said, when I go outdoors, I can pretty much just function without my phone if I forget my phone ever. It's like terrible if you do, but like, I mean, that it works, you know? And um, it's really good. Um, it's waterproof and it looks good. I would probably still go with the uh, 44 just because I'm used to the Apple face but um, I do think the 40 looks really good but I mean today after seeing this one like the Casio um, the San Mark this looks really cool I think I could wear this as well so yeah okay can I choose two yeah of course you can choose three if you want okay then I'll choose all of them yeah they're all mine now that's good cool. thank you I guess they're all hers now but yeah, for me, I, it's really difficult to just choose one as well. If I have to choose one, uh, I personally am still a yellow gold kind of guy. So if I'm able to get a gold plated watch that's not pure gold and it's reasonably priced, which I think for something like this, gold plated and an Apple watch, you know, I would say it's probably under 1500 US dollars. I love it. It's like a mix of, no, there's it's the like a mix of Rolex paddock and, and Golden Concept, you know, I like that, Golden Concept. I would probably choose the Golden Concept as my first pick out of these, but I, you know what? These other two options are very, very well priced, and, and I would have like a bunch of these because it's just so cool to have. So Tizzy, why don't you tell everyone what they have to do to get this watch? Okay. It's not that easy. Actually, it's kind of easy, but it's a little complicated. So be sure that you guys listen very carefully. You have to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have to follow EWC on Instagram, Empire Watch Club, okay? And on this video and also EWC's latest post on Instagram, you have to click like and comment, I love Empire Watch Club, okay? And on IG, you have to tag three friends. That's right and you will get a chance to win this beautiful Sandmark case G-Shock Casio rose gold I have no more words <laughs> peace so the keys to getting this watch are right here move over so we have more space <laughs> right okay good luck everyone and we will announce the winner one week from now See you on the next EWC. Good luck. Peace.